There's another suicide in the Ashley Madison case coming up next on Pastor Bob Daly. Well, another suicide. There have been several now. People that were caught and people that actually killed themselves instead of facing the judgment of their family and friends and themselves. This latest one was a pastor, a seminary professor. Everybody around him said he was a wonderful, wonderful guy and always thought of others first and had a hard time forgiving himself. You know, here's where so many people are today. And folks, can I just say that we have to get better at this. We have to. If you continue to beat each other up for sin, if you continue to try to expose people and all you're posting is, you know, political and religious people who are falling and all the junk that's going on everywhere, your mindset is not in the right place. Now, I want to get a little stern with you today, and I don't do that real often, but this really has to stop. We really have to begin to follow Jesus. And Jesus said that we were supposed to give each other unconditional love. Unconditional. You know, for some reason, the Christian church has adopted this real condemning attitude. And I'm going to talk about that more next week, actually, because we really need to get past this. The world will never know the love of Jesus if all they see is condemnation from Christians. It will never happen. And that's what Christ tried to tell us. In fact, he told us not to return to a yoke of bondage, uh, to slavery again. And we've done that. That's what this mindset is all about. You know, the good thing, if it could have happened, would have been to restore this pastor. For people in his congregation, in his school, his family, whatever, would come alongside of him and help to restore him. And of course, they said he was really good at, uh, at uh, grace with everyone else and not so good with himself. And some of that's because we forced that. We put pastors and Christian leaders on a pedestal and they're afraid to move and afraid to do anything and it's, it's lonely at that place and there's nobody to talk to. The perfect scenario would have been for people to come alongside of him and say, we'd like to pay for you and your wife to go on a vacation, just the two of you. You get this settled first, that's, that's first. We'll take care of your house, we'll take care of your family We'll take care of everything until you get back. And then when you get back, we'd like to just love you. If you feel like you need some counseling and some help through this, we'll get it for you. We'd like to just help take care of you to make your life a little easier and to realize that you're getting over a pretty major thing. But we want to love you through it. Now, that would have been the thing to do. And I'm not so sure that people didn't try to do that. But I'm just saying, wouldn't it be great if people in the world could see us actually reacting in love instead of condemnation, especially with our own? So sad to me. And yet it plays out every day, every day with our condemnation. Folks, please don't be guilty of this. You know, there are people falling in our numbers all the time. People leaving the church because they have to get healthy very unhealthy place for a lot of people. People committing suicide because they don't know where else to turn. And I've had people that have, that have been close to me that have committed suicide. It's a horrible thing, horrible thing. I've had those times where I've had way too much condemnation and not enough love. And I'm preaching to the choir today, talking to myself. We need to love unconditionally. Join me with that prayer, would you? And of course, the prayer starts with you, starts with me. Lord, help us to be unconditional in our love. God bless you. Have a great day.